Here is the coefficient matrix that we want to convert to natural coordinates. And here is the relationship between x and psi. To convert these ke terms to natural coordinates, we can start by developing an expression for the derivative of psi, d psi, with respect to x, dx. For this, we get 2 over x2 element minus x1 element. And that's just equal to 2 divided by the length of the element, which means that the psi is equal to, if I move this dx here to the other side, I get 2 over the length of the element, dx. And if we solve for dx, since that's what we have right here, we'll know what to plug in for it. We'll have the length of the element divided by 2 d psi. So this is what we can plug in right here. Now we just need to convert n to and dn dx to psi coordinates. First, let's consider that the expression for n1 in psi coordinates is n1 psi is 1 minus psi over 2. And we can check this by plugging in uh, minus 1, because the element goes from minus 1 to 1. This is in psi coordinates. So n1 has a value of 1 at the first node and 0 at the second node. So if we plug in minus 1 here for psi, we get a value of 1, which is what we expect here for the first node. And if we plug in plus 1, we get a value of 0, which is what we expect for the second node. So this equation checks for being the correct interpretation of this uh, interpolation function for the first node. Then we can plug in the expression for psi that we had on the previous page into n1. So n1 in terms of x will be 1 half, that's the first part here, minus, and for psi over 2, I'm going to plug in our expression for psi in terms of x. So that's x minus x1 element over the two cancels, and we get x2 element minus x1 element, and then we have minus 1 half. Then we can solve for dn1 dx. That's equal to dn1 d psi times d psi dx. For the first interpolation function, since we have here this expression for n1, then we can write dn1 d psi is equal to minus 1 half, if we just take the derivative of this equation with respect to psi. And from earlier, we know that d psi is 2 over the length of the element dx, and so d psi dx is then equal to just 2 over the length of the element. Putting all of this together, we can plug in this here and this here, and we get dn1 dx is minus 1 half 2 over the length of the element. For the second interpolation function, n2 in terms of psi is 1 plus psi over 2, and you can check that as well for minus 1 to positive 1 for psi coordinates. Uh, we get a value of 0 at minus 1, and we get a value of 1 at positive 1 for psi. So then dn2 d psi is equal to 1 half, and then dn2 dx is equal to dn2 d psi times d psi over and dx, which is something we solved for on the last slide. So we just get 1 half times 2 over the length of the element. So now we have all of the expressions that we need in order to convert these ke coefficients to the master element. Before the next lecture, plug all these expressions in so that you can perform the coordinate transformation
on the Ke coefficients and have them written in terms of psi. After you've done this, you'll have an expression for Ke in terms of psi instead of x. At that point, you can evaluate the integrals. So evaluate the integrals for the four Ke coefficients. You know, since Ke is a two by two matrix, i goes from one to two, and j all go, also goes from one to two. And also remember the limits on the integrals will go from minus one to one, since you are now going to be in natural coordinates, psi, where the element, master element goes from minus one to one. Try to simplify the Ke coefficients for the master element as much as you can. You'll know that you're done when you get something of the form where Ke for the element is equal to, and we'll get a two by two matrix here. So we're gonna have A minus B, there's just gonna be some expression here for A and some expression for B. You'll have A minus B here also, minus A minus C, and minus A minus C. So you have to solve for what are A, B, and C.